Sector is clear. Give us everything we got! I'm All wings! Welcome back to Ant Lives The Channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. And as I always say, I got your back. New subscribers, you're going to come to find out that I got your back. The channel gang, you already know I got your back. This right here marks my 200th and 9th build video for NBA 2K22 current gen. I am the OHEB GOAT builder. I am the best builder in the world, and I am the hardest working builder for NBA 2K22 current gen, and 209 builds only prove that fact. This right here is Kevin Durant's exact build at the small forward position. You know I'm no clickbait, so you know I got our boy, and of course, we got the 10. And what I mean by that, that is the slash to take over, and to you new people, that if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I will explain that to you once we get further along in the video. Now, we're going to take this pie chart right here for the skill breakdown, and this is the, the majority of green and the lesser of the blue. So you're going to have Hall of Fame shooting badges. 16 and then you're gonna have 16 badges in the um, finishing as well for the skill breakdown pie chart Now we're gonna go right here with the pure speed Pie chart we're gonna come up to 90 On his close shot then we're gonna bring his driving layup all the way to 75 We're gonna bring his driving dunk all the way to 75 then we're gonna bring his drive uh, Standing dunk just to 61 and then we're gonna bring his post hook all the way to 85 we cannot put anything on his mid-range. We will not get Kevin Durant. We will not get Kevin Durant with a post fit fade either. You can say, well, why does he don't have a midi? That's something you got to take up with Mike Wayne. But right now, this Kevin Durant does have a three-point shot, and he does have a free throw. All right, so that's going to give him 16 shooting badges. At, like I said, I said before when I found it at set his name in second, I was going to find it at top. I found it at top. Now, trust me, I will look further to find the mid-range and the post-fade, but right now, it's only coming with a three-ball and a free throw. Now, we're going to go uh, to just 50 on his pass accuracy. We're going to bring his ball handle all the way to 72, and then we're going to bring his post control all the way to 74. Now, we're going to bring his interior defense up to 59, and then we're going to bring his perimeter defense to 73. We're going to bring his ladder quickness to 70. Now, we're just going to bring his steal to 40. This is what I mean. This is what they this is what they want. This is the dev creators at NBA 2K. And this is what we got to go by if we want the, the computer to recognize the player as Kevin Durant. Now, we're going to go to block of 42. Down, we're going to go to office rebound of 45. And then we're going to finish the rest of the defense rebound all the way out at 66. Now, this bill will come with the total. What is that? 32, 42, 40, 44 total badges on it. Now, we're going to go with slight because that's Kevin Durant. And we're just going to bring him to 6'8". We don't have to go to 6'9 or 6'10". We're just bringing him to 6'8". Now, we're going to bring his weight back to 221. You can go here, but you're going to lose a little bit of strength You right here. If you go here, you're going to get Brandon Ingram for some odd reason. But we're going to go right here. You can go get him at Kevin Durant right here, but you're going to lose speed. So 221 is the best weight that you want for this build. Now, we're going to bring his wingspan all the way out because this is Kevin Durant's... Uh, Finisher exact build now you already know we got the 10 and that is a slash of takeover The other two takeovers are uh, spot up and post score You can do from the seat of your chair You know how to hold the L2 button and score in the low post do low post moves And then you know how to find areas on the court to spot up and then what they'll do to your physicals will be only They'll only give your physicals a five and you do not want that with this build you want this build to be very very top notch so when you get high to 99 overall and you're not decides to take over you're going to get that 10 instead of that five on this build now whenever you're not decides to take over you're going to get a 10 to your finishing uh, 10 to your physicals five to your shooting a 10 to your ball handle a five to your pass accuracy a five to your post control as well as a five to your defense or rebounding um categories but at 99 overall, once you ignite the slash to take over, that's when the build is going to take flight. It's going to do its damage. 
Trust me, because you're going to be able to speed boost and not in an overall because you're going to have 80 ball handle plus 80 on ball speed. So you're going to be able to speed boost with this build once you get it hot at 99 overall and you get in the zone. So at 99 overall, you're going to have a close shot of 96. And when United decides to take over, that will go over the cap of 99 and will be 106. Then you're going to have a driving layup of 78. And when United decides to take over 99 overall, that will be an 88. Then you're going to have a driving dunk of 81. So you're going to be able to get... Um, what is it? A Glenn Robinson the third dunk package. Then you're going to be able to uh, create a couple of dunk packages like the uh, reverse windmill. That's a nice dunk package off of this build. So you're going to be able to have some nice dunk packages. You're going to be able to look good while you're doing your thing when you, if you decide to drive to the hole. So when your night decides to take over a 99 overall, that 81 will turn into a 91. Now you're going to have a standing dunk of a uh, 73. And when your night decides to take over, that will be an 83. Then you're going to have a post hook of 92 so you're going to be able to go down low post hold the l2 push up on the shot stick get your post hook on because you're going to have a at 99 overall once you ignite that uh uh your slash takeover that 92 post hook goes over the cap of 99 as well and will be a hundred uh 102 so that's nice now like i said you got to take this up with mike wing i don't like it i tried everything it doesn't even show his name okay so we got to roll with what the NBA 2K devs give us for Kevin Durant. So at 99 overall, you're going to have a three-point shot of 77. It's going to be accurate because it's got Hall of Fame badges on it. So you're going to hit that with great frequency. And when your night decides to take over, you, that will be an 82. Then you're going to have a free throw of 93. And when your night decides to take over, that goes over the cap of 99. No, it doesn't. I'm sorry. It'll, it'll be at 98 with your free throw. Now... I do have a fadeaway tutorial. Check it out if you would like. It's called Fadeaway Tutorial. Learn how to shoot the fadeaway jump shot like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. Even though this build has a low post fade, you can utilize it from time to time and maybe hit it. Now, you will have a post fade of 65 and 99 raw. And this is the reason why I tell you to go check that post fade uh, tutorial out because I'll show you how to use it off the dribble. Um, and once your knight decides to take over 99 overall, that post fade will be a 70. So that's going to fall. Now, you're going to have a pass accuracy of 53 and 99 overall. And when your knight decides to take over, that will be a 58. Now, look at your ball handle because you're going to have a 70 ball handle and 99 overall. And when your knight decides to take over, you're going to be able to speed boost because that will be a 80. Because you're going to have a 90 plus speed and an 80 ball handle and 99 overall when you ignite decides to take over. Okay? Now, your post control will be a 78. So you're going to be able to score in low post with ease as well. And when your knight decides to take over and 99 overall, that post control is 78 will be a 83 that's nice very 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 nice i like this build because it's going to be able to do some things now your interior defense because you're going to get a five to your tier, interior de i mean to your defensive rebound as well because you're going to have a 67 interior defense and when your knight decides to take over that's going to be a 72 your perimeter defense will be a 72 and when your knight decides to take over that's going to be a 77 so it's going to have great perimeter defense on them now, at 99 overall, your lack of quickness is going to be pretty fair, too, because that's a 69. And when your knight decides to take over, that will be a um, 73. Now, you're going to have a steal of 43. And when your knight decides to take over, that would be a 48. But see, we're going to, I'm going to put it on your block where well, you're going to be able to get your blocks off of this build because you're going to have a block of uh, 51. But when your knight decides to take over, that will be a 56. Then you're going to have an offensive rebound of 53 and when your knight decides to take over that will be a 58 and then you're gonna have a defensive rebound of 78 and 99 overall and when your knight decides to take over that will be a 83 so from time to time you get lucky you will be able to get a triple double i won't guarantee because the build doesn't really have the strength that i would like for you to have but if you know how to crash the boards correctly and go to right angles and you get the right positioning you can get the triple double because this build is does have vertical so you're going to be able to get up and grab boards and you're going to be able to get up and block shots trust me now the juicy part is the uh slash takeover and the physicals right because you're going to get an 18 point jump the other two takeovers that i mentioned earlier only give you a 13 point jump so and 99 we all know there's four ways before i get into this build because uh we all know there's four ways and that one is the gateway facility where you get forced for a week uh, level 40 where you get the gym rat badge NBA championship where you get your gym rat badge and get your force and then we all know the other way is getting to 99 overall 
So at 99 overall, you're going to have a speed of 83, an acceleration of 80, a vertical of 77, and a strength of 60. So that 60 strength is decent for a small fork. So you're going to be able to get in from time to time and get some flushes with this build. Now, when you ignite the slash and takeover, that's when it's a whole nother ball game because your speed is going to be a 93, your acceleration will be a 90, your vertical will be an 87, and then your strength will be a 70 to go along with that 90 driving dunk and that 80 ball handle where you'll be able to speed boost when you're hot with this build that's why you take the slash and take over with this build this boy is nice now we're gonna come here and we're gonna take the slash and take over and i explained like i said you could spot from the seat of your chair and you could post score from the seat of your chair but you cannot duplicate this from the seat of your chair because you cannot teleport into the tv and control the bill's physicals so this would be the smart option to take that slasher takeover baby and there you have it only at Aunt Liza channel now do we have Kevin Durant's exact finisher build and you're only going to find Kevin Durant's exact build at the small four position here at Aunt Lives the channel don't forget to like share and subscribe hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel and as I always say I got your back the channel gang you know I got your back. And what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to test this build. And what I mean by that, I'm just going to show you guys why I placed the badges if I was to use this build. Don't fret those two defensive badges. It's still going to be able to play defense because it has a rebound. So you don't really have to worry about going towards that uh, rebound chaser because you got a high rebound on this build. Now we got 16, of course. Unstrippable. Limitless takeoff. He has a standing dunk. So we're gonna go there. Mmm. He's tall. Slasher. I'ma say I'ma say ooh, this is a tough one. Fearless finisher and posterizer. Alright, yeah, we're gonna go there. We got one more. Right. I would just go with slithery finisher because that's gonna allow him to get to the hole a little bit. But you want this fast twitch because you're gonna get that outlet pass where you're up under the rim and you want him to go up fast. And he, where he'll be able to finish for sure. So you would want that. That's gonna help him take off. That's that's guaranteed. You need that when you drive to the hole. If you have any build that has finishing badges and it has a high driving dunk or a high standing dunk. You need unstrippable. Anybody does not put unstrippable on there, they don't know the game of basketball. I'm sorry. And I'm not talking about you, the viewers. I'm talking about those builders. If a builder make, get, makes you an athletic finisher and he doesn't have you with an unstrippable badge there, he doesn't know what he's doing. Okay, so we're going to go here. And what I do is you use real player shooting percentage. You guys who use the meter or shot timing you know exactly where you to go with those badges now i'm going to take lucky seven of course hall of fame hot zone hunter catch and shoot because durant is one of the best at catch and shoot and this is kevin durant so do i go clutch shooter i'm going to go clutch shooter for sure and then i do have a little bit of a fade shot on this so i'm gonna go ahead and give it oh no then i can't go i only got 16 my bad I was gonna give him a bronze fade, uh, fade ace. My fault. So I'm gonna go right here with this Kevin Durant. Cause he's gonna pop that. He's gonna pop that shot for sure. That's for them game winners. Now, remember the game recognizes this as Kevin Durant. So trust me, you wanna get those results. Now, unpluckable, of course. Quick first step to add to his speed. Then we're gonna add a little bit to his quick chain on his ball handling. That's what. That's eight. And then we got two more. Let's go with downhill. We don't really want to care about bullet passing because he's not going to, you're not really looking to pass the ball. What you're looking for out of this build is to get speed to make your dribble a whole lot better with the dribble chain as well. Now, if you want, you can go here and there because you got that tremendous quick first step anyway. All right. But I'm going to go here because I just want that speed to be up. Now we got two and I'm telling you, I'm going to go right here with Chase now. Because I'm, this is going to help you close out on the defenders and help you utilize your lateral quickness right here. Because he does, he will have a 77 vertical. He is going to be able to get up and throw that shot off the glass. And this is going to guarantee you that you at least get three to four blocks a game. And when if you do it right, those blocks can change the momentum in the game, the momentum swing of a game, 
and can be the cause of your team winning the game. That's guaranteed facts. You don't really need Intimidator. We, we, I wouldn't go here and here with this. That makes no sense. So we're going to go with the strong suit of the build, which is his athletic side of his length and his wingspan to get to make sure we get that animation for that chase down block. For sure, that is needed with this build. And there you have it. Only at Ant Liza channel, now that we have Kevin Durant's exact build at the small forward position finisher. This is the only video for Kevin Durant's exact build on YouTube at the small forward position. I had the first one at power forward. Now I have the first one at small forward. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. And as I always say, I got your back. The channel gang, you know I got your back. I am the O-Head Gold Builder. I am the best builder in the world. And I am the hardest working builder for NBA 2K22 current gen. And 209 videos only prove that fact. And without anything further being said, I am out.